Okay, so let's start with the warm ups. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ribs in and up, sitting bones, shoulder blades down. And then inhale, arms out to the sides, exhale to your heart, inhale, stretch forward, exhale behind, clasp your fingers, lift your heart, stretch your spine, and then exhale over. So sitting bones up, hands toward your head, and head toward your legs. And just breathe. And then knees bent, chin in, wind your way slowly back up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, shoulders down, and breathe. And then inhale up and release. Take a moment feeling your spine, getting into that yoga frame of reference. And again, inhale, arms out, hands to your heart, stretch it out to the front, and exhale behind, clasp the other way. Again, stretch through your spine as you lift your heart, and then pivot at the hips coming over, and relax. So deepen as much or as little as your spine wants to do at this moment. And then slowly work your way up again and into the upper body for the back bend. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a few moments to feel that circulation energizing you. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling and over your head. Pass and clasp for a side stretch. Sitting bones down and no twisting on this one, so keep that top shoulder. Breathe, push the foot you're leaning away from down for extra stretch through your ribs. And then inhale up and release. Oh no, we didn't do both sides. Inhale the arms to shoulder level, palms up and over your shoulders. Clasp the opposite way and pull your shoulders down. Stretch your head up and exhale over to the opposite side. And again, maximize by pushing your foot down, reach out through your head and your hands, and keep that top shoulder back. And inhale, upright, exhale, and release. Feel your sides a little bit more stretched out, and our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, and stretch up, and exhale into your twist. Lengthen, keep the weight on both feet, and exhale over. And just deepen into your forward bend as much or as little as it wants to go. See if you can keep the weight even on both feet. And lift maybe your sitting bones for a little extra back of the leg. And then inhale up and into the upper body for the back bend, not your lower back. And exhale to the center, switch your arms around and shoulders down. And twist the other direction. And then as you exhale. Deepen as much or as little as feels right and relax. Just let the twist and the forward bend happen. And then slowly work your way back up, heart toward the elbows back, and stretch your spine. And then inhalation coming up to the center, arms up. Keep the arms by your ears, pivot forward from your hips. Keep your body as flat as you can, stretch it, and then drop into ragdoll. Just hang as you come all the way down. So release any tension through the back of your body. Deepen as much or as little as you want. You can bend your knees if you like, or you can straighten them and stretch your hamstrings. And then slide your hands up under your knees, press into the shins with your palms, elbows straight, knees straight, back straight. Lengthen and stretch, and then exhale back down. 
and wind your way back into mountain pose. So take a moment there, feel your body. Notice all the circulation going through you and relax. Hands to your heart. Look at your fingers and inhale them up. Keep extending through the hands and pull your thumbs back looking at them so you're lifting the heart a little bit more into an upper body back bend. And then exhaling, come all the way down and all the way to the floor. And again, just wind your way back up and mountain pose. And let's just lengthen and swing for a little twist motion to get the spine a little more energized before we hit the floor. So keep relaxing, breathing, and then back to the center and work your shoulders around. And then both arms up, stretching one side and up on the opposite toe. And then down and up on the other side. Down and up. Exhale and inhale. And both feet down, up, swan dive, arms out to the side, chest, chin, lead, and drop all the way into ragdoll. And one more time, wind your way to the top. Bring your hands behind you, so palms on your back, base of the palms at your shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your sacrum. Elbows toward each other, so chest expanding and look up. A nice supported back bend, as deep as you like. Keep the elbows going toward each other for that expansion across your heart and shoulders. And then release that and back to mountain pose. Just take a moment, feel the spine, feel the circulation and energy. And then inhale up, exhale, pivot over and to the mat or to the floor. So hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor or all the way down, depending on how much stretch you like through your spine. And then bring your arms in front, and we're going to come up into table position. <clears throat> so remember, if you need padding under your knees, <clears throat> you can do that. So take a moment, spread your fingers out. You can come up onto the fingertips, press the fingers down, the whole palm down, get really connected. And remember, if that's too much ever on your wrist, you can put padding under the heel of your palm so it's not so bent. So the knees are under your hips, <clears throat> feet straight back, wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up, chest a little bit toward your thumbs so you're not hunching up in the upper body, and lower ribs up toward your spine so your back is supported. So lengthen back through the sitting bones, out through the crown, and then we'll do the regular cat first. So bring your... Belly down toward the floor, hips up, and rotate your face to the front, crown to the ceiling. And then exhale, sitting bones down, head down, and arching up through the spine. And then inhale back to neutral. <clears throat> I don't know if that noise is bothering you, but it's trash day. Okay, <clears throat> so pick a place between your waist and your shoulders, upper body, and then bring that point down toward the mat as you raise your sitting bones and look to the front. So upper body back bend. And then keep your mind on that same point on the upper body and push that to the ceiling as you put your sitting bones down and the top of your head down. So again, upper body back bend, or forward bend. And then inhale back to straight back, table position. <clears throat> now, between your waist and your hips, pick a point, so lower body back bend. Drop that point, lifting your sitting bones, rotating 
chest and face forward. So feel like that lower part of your body is sinking deeper. And then keeping your mind on that same lower body point, push it up as if it goes highest to the ceiling in your arching angry cat. So really feel that lower back push up, up, up. And then inhale again back to neutral. And then find your solar plexus between your ribs, above your navel, <clears throat> below your sternum, right in that middle part between your ribs. And pull that down to the floor as you lift your hips and look forward into the back bend. So middle part of your body as your focus. And then push that same solar plexus point up and arch angry cat. And then inhale and come back to neutral. So lengthen your spine, keep it nice and flat, and walk your hands to one side in that side stretch, coming into a little bit of a lateral motion, keeping your back as flat as you can. And then walk your hands back to the center. Take a moment and table to make sure everything's lined up, and then walk your hands to the other side as far as they want to go. And again, stretch through the ribs, the side you're leaning away from, hip and shoulder coming close on that opposite side. And one more time, back to the center. And we're gonna do a twist. This one's called threading the needle. It's three parts. You can go one part, you can go two parts, or you can go three parts, it's up to you. But if you go to all three parts, it gets a little balancey, so be careful. Now take one hand, palm up, slide it through, and bring your head and shoulder all the way down to the floor. And then the elbow on the hand that's still on the mat, or floor goes up toward the ceiling, giving you a good twist through the whole upper body and the spine. Now, if that's good for you and you want to go further, take your opposite foot near your hand. So the front foot goes near the hand that slid through. And then push away with the heel, and that's gonna make the lower back a little bit more twisted. And then if that's good, and you still wanna get more twists, bring your hand right above your shoulder, palm open, and then roll onto the back of your head as you follow that hand moving behind you into the twist. And this is where it gets a little balancy if you're into the third level. Now remember, you don't ever have to go to all those levels. So maximize or minimize, just feel the twist wherever you are, and then bring your hand back to the mat if it's up. If your leg is out, bring it back in, and press into that hand on the mat, and come back to table position. Take a moment there, feeling your spine as you feel that circulation. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I'm turning around so I, you can kind of more see it. So opposite hand slides through, head and shoulder come all the way down to the floor. I'm not gonna press my microphone into the floor or you won't hear me. And again, stay there with the head and shoulder down, elbow up, get a little twist, or for more twist, bring your foot out and press out through the heel, or bring your hand to the ceiling and roll it behind you, rolling onto the back of your head. So go as far as it wants to go, breathing and relaxing, maximizing or minimizing. Remember, personal practice, your choice. And then if your hand is up, bring it back down. If your leg is out, bring it back in and unthread back to table. So as you get back into table, again, check your positioning. Make sure that lower back is supported. Make sure your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are aligned and that knees are under the hips, feet straight back. We're gonna slide one foot out and up to hip level, and then bring the opposite hand out in front. Stretch it out, maximizing and as much as you want. And then hand down and knee down, coming back to table. Opposite side, same thing. Foot out, up to hip level, 
and hand extend it, stretch it out. Get a good slight twist through the spine. And then hand down and knee down. So take a moment there and feel your body. We're gonna do that slightly more extensive one. So same thing, foot to hip level and hand out in front. Turn the palm up, roll the thigh slightly in as you bend the knee so the foot straight up towards the ceiling and then raise it up. Maximize the back bend only as much as you want and then straighten things out. Palm toward the floor, hand to the mat, and knee down. Feel how your body is responding as we get ready for the next one. So again, foot out, hip level, hand forward, stretch it out, palm toward the ceiling, roll that thigh in, bend your knee, foot toward the ceiling, and raise the foot and hand a little bit more. Maximize or minimize your choice always. And then straighten it out, palm down, hand to the mat, knee to the floor. And again, just take a moment there to sink back on your hips and circle your wrists to make sure that they're not getting overstrained. Deep breath, just relaxing. And then we're going to pivot back up and into table. <clears throat> so this one's a little bit more complex. I think I'll turn back around. <clears throat> so we're going to start with the right foot back and at hip level again, and the left arm forward, or whichever one you're doing. So stretch that out. Make sure the hip bones are both facing the floor, and shoulders are both facing the floor. Stay there if that's plenty of balance for you and enough stretch. Or reach your hand back and hold your foot. And then again, a little bit more back bend. So the hip stays down toward the floor. It doesn't rotate out to the side. And the chest stays even to the floor as well as you go into that back bend. And then release. Bring the arm back to the front and the leg back to hip level. Bring your hand to the mat and your foot to the floor. So again, take a moment there. You can circle that wrist that was on the mat if you need, or a floor if you need to. And we'll do the other side. So leg back and up, arm out, stretch it out. And as always, you can stay here if you prefer. That's perfectly okay. If you want the extra back bendy, Foot and hand together, raise it up. Hips are toward the floor, shoulders are even toward the mat and the front. And again, raise that foot and head as high as you want to and breathe. And then releasing, bring your foot down, your hand down, hand to the mat and knee to the floor and sink back and circle your wrists. So take a moment there, just breathing and relaxing. And then separate your hands a little bit more and pivot up, slide down onto your belly and relax. So put something under your forehead and keep it on the mat. So just let your legs relax, hips sinking into the floor. And then bring your arms overhead along the floor, right in front of your shoulders. Pull your fingertips into the heel of your palm, palm coming down to the floor, elbows out toward the sides. And then face to the front, crown to the ceiling, chest forward and up. So this is a real upper body cobra, so that you're feeling it pretty much across that shoulder, upper back area. So lengthen, the lower body does nothing, just let it relax, ribs stay on the floor, that's fine. And then exhale and come back down. Bring your fingertips in and hand back, elbows further out to the side, still hands in front of your shoulders and forehead on the floor. And inhaling, face forward, crown up, tuck that chin back in, chest and, 
and heart forward and up, shoulder blades down, a little bit further down to your shoulder blade area or upper back area. So just feel where that is. Maximize or minimize. Remember, if you don't like back bends, just exhale back down. Otherwise, chest forward up a little bit more with the crown. And exhale and release, forehead to the floor. And again, fingertips back, hands a little bit further, like forehead level, elbows out toward the side, hands still right in front of your shoulders. Relax your hips and legs, they still do nothing. Inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck that chin back toward your chest a little bit. Chest forward and up, shoulder blades down. And remember, not a lot of pressure in the hands, they're just positioning. So this should be shoulder blade area a little bit more. So just notice how that back bend is maximizing at which point along your spine. And then exhale and come back, forehead to the mat. Just relax a moment. And then choose your place wherever you want. We're not gonna go hands under the shoulders, that goes into the lower back. But the closer your hands are to your shoulders, the more your lower back gets involved in the back bend. The further away from your body, the more it's in your neck and shoulders. So pick your place that you wanna work. Maybe shoulder blade area, maybe a little bit higher. And then plant the palms, elbows out to the side, hands right in front of your shoulders. Forehead starts on the floor. Rotate face forward, crown up, tuck the chin back in, chest forward, and heart opening as those shoulder blades drop toward your waist. And just maximize whatever upper body back bend you're choosing this morning or afternoon. So expand through the heart, lengthen through the spine, relax through the whole lower body. And then again, exhaling, pivot back, forehead to the mat, hands under your shoulders, and push back for a child's pose, forward stretch through the spine. So just a little counteracting from our twist, or from our back bend, as we get ready to do our twist. So sit up on your heels, bring your legs out in front, and sitting bones to the mat. So find your position, lengthen up through the spine. We're gonna go into cross-legged for our twist. So <clears throat> allow your sitting bones to be connected, either, either leg in front or on top, because we're gonna reverse it in a minute. And then choose which one you want to do first. Bring your hand to that knee, other hand out in front, shoulders and shoulder blades down, crown high. So from the sitting bones up through the top of your head, stretch it open and exhale and follow that hand around behind you to twist. Bring your hand to the mat close to your body, to the floor close to your body and sink into your sitting bones and up through your spine. Breathe in and as you exhale, turn deeper into the twist as much as you want. So ribs, hips, ribs, and shoulder all moving along with your head, not just turning your neck. So breathe, exhale, maximize or minimize, twist your personal practice, just like all yoga. And then bring your hand back up, follow it around to the center, and release. Take a moment, feel your spine. And just allow that circulation to energize and align and balance things through your body as we get ready to do the other way. So switch your legs around and bring the hand to the opposite knee. Other arm out at shoulder level. Again, keep the shoulders down. Stretch through the spine, opening the bones so they can twist. Exhale and follow the hand behind you. Bring your hand to the floor close to your body, sitting bones down and stretch the spine even more open. And as you exhale, deepen the twist, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning. Whole spine working a little bit deeper to get those stimulations along the spine more maximized so we're ready to relax. And when you're ready to release, bring your hand up, 
shoulder level and follow it, exhaling back to the center and release. Feet to the end of the mat or wherever they go and slowly roll onto your back for corpse position. So kind of roll the thighs in a little bit and then relax through your lower body. Kind of slide the sitting bones maybe a little bit towards your heels. If your lower back feels stressed, you can always bend your knees and put a pillow or some sort of prop under your knees so that they stay bent while you're relaxing. Hands, palms up near your side so your shoulders stay relaxed. Just release the shoulders and shoulder blades down to the floor a little bit more. And then take a deep breath and just exhale and let your body sink. And as your body relaxes deeper into the earth, just let it go. So we did a lot of spine work this morning, this afternoon, whatever time it is. And so let your whole torso just soften and sink. Deepen your breath. Exhale tension. And just let everything release and relax even deeper. And as your body relaxes, just let your mind drift. No need to think of anything going on outside the room, outside your body, outside your breath. So deepen your breath. We'll let the thoughts flow in and out freely, letting the content of your thoughts just disappear completely. As they flow in, just let them flow out without attention. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. This moment, the only thing to pay attention to is the peace within. So find the peace and let it expand through your body, through your mind, through your being. And just be peace. And if you want to stay relaxing, feel free to do that. Or just begin drawing energy and awareness back into the body, into the room, into the moment. And moving your body just gently, start allowing everything to release a little bit more. Press your back down and draw your heels toward your hips. And then your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that final yoga hug of appreciation. Letting your body know its work today was great in yoga and the work you do every day is equally wonderful. And when you're ready to sit up, just roll to the side and come back to a seated position and get ready for whatever lies ahead for you this afternoon. Thanks for joining me.